Hey there! Today I'm going to go through day three of Advent of Code 2022 uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna think and code with you here. <laughs> um, one thing, we're getting closer to 500 subscribers, so if you haven't subscribed already, just drop, do it now. <laughs> Let's get started with day one. So I've read the um, prime statement already, and we have a list of uh, backpack content. Uh, yeah, so whoop. let's copy paste the, um, this is the example. And we're going to be using our uh, template code that you can find on GitHub. Uh, this is super useful because it's almost every day we have it on each line something useful. So here we just have to remove this line because we don't have numbers here, we just have this. So here, just let's just display lines and we node drs3.mjs and we have our backpack content. So the first thing I would like to do is to split that into two parts. So um, we're just gonna do a for nice for off here. Should I do a map? Uh, la last time I had it was better to do a map, so I'm gonna do that. So what do we have here? We uh, const length or actually. Let's say, I don't know, const part one is equal to line slice between zero and line dot length divided by two. I believe this is gonna be correct. Let's, let's try that. And part two is between this, oops, between this and the end. I think that should be good, let's just, Try that right away. Oh, I forgot to console log. So here we're gonna console log part one and part two. I like to put that between uh, curly brackets so that we see uh, the text here displayed. That, that's quite, hel quite helpful. So this goes until R and then it starts from H to P. So we have our code already to split the backpack content into two. Now what we need to do is to find the items that are that appears in both compartments. So for that, what I really enjoy doing uh, these days is to use the set method, the set object in JavaScript. So yeah, in, I believe in other languages you have some tools to do to check things. Let, let's do that right away. So here. I'm gonna say uh, let part one uh, set and we do new set of part one and now we can go part two dot filter and we need to check that the set from part one has x. Const, uh, so this is the intersection, intersection, and we're gonna do console log intersection. Let's see that. I've made a mistake here. Part two isn't an array, part two dot filter. Part two should be an array. Oh, no, 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 this is a string, uh, my bad. I need to convert this string into arrays so that we can actually go through each element super easily because uh, set here this is when you give it an array it constructs the set right away and so if we go intersection ll oh why do we have two things here p and here we have L, L is present several times. What, 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 what? Uppercase L. Yeah, L appears several times. That's interesting. 
So it appears several times on both ends, both hands. Uh, and here we don't care about the fact that there are two L's here. So we're just gonna do, actually we're gonna make that a set. So yeah, when I deduplicate, I want to deduplicate an array, I'm just creating a new set here from an array. This is deduplicating all the values and then I'm converting the set back into um, uh, an array. So actually, yeah, maybe that's a bit too, too much, too many things done at the same time. So let's have another variable, actually intersection. And here this is deduplicated intersection, intersection. So let's remove this line of dedup. I have one parenthesis that I forgot to move. Let's see. P L P V T S. That is good. So now we have the first part of the prime statement. Now we need the second part. We have something, we have to transform the letters into um, numbers. So what I would do for that, I like to have a function uh, that say letter to priority uh, or yeah, we can, yeah, let's have letter to priority here, this letter. Uh, so here we want to test, test that somehow because let's just do console log uh, letter priority of A. And let's just write four things. A, Z, A, Z, A, Z. Let's do that. Here we're just going to start by doing a con console log. Uh, how do I transform a letter into a an integer. I forgot about that. I'm gonna do a quick Google search. Okay, I found it. It's char code at. So we need to do letter dot char code at zero. This converts the letter into a number, which is okay. But now we need to um, let's see. We're just gonna say if uh, if so here this is going to check if oh, not a but letter lowercase here I don't want to do like some complex math so I'm just going to say okay if this is a lowercase letter then what do we do we need to do uh, this minus 97 this gives us a number between zero and 25 and we actually we need one. Okay. So minus 96 and we have a number between one and 26 as expected. That's good. Now we need the other part. So actually I shouldn't console log. I should just return this and here I'm just returning that just for debugging. We have 65 and 90. So here the same, we're just doing minus 65 and then we have something between zero and 25 and you want something between 27 and 52. So plus 27. And we have, yeah, that's it. We have exactly what we want. The letter to priority function is working fine. So now we just need to have the sum of these. So here did up, uh, we know that it looks like it, it is only one element that appears in both compartments. So we can do did up of zero. That's what's interesting for us. And letter to priority, oops, letter 
to priority is the function that's going to convert our uh, our letter into the right value uh, i like to use the variable res for results let's see what we have have 16 38 okay that looks like the right thing here like yesterday we're going to use the function reduce a b a plus b up a plus b starting at zero to do the sum of the array in javascript and we have 157 that looks good let's see let's see we paste the full input we have 7795 this is good for the first problem. Let me read part two now. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, I'm always starting by copy pasting this example so that we have something to start from. So now we need to take to group uh, the full backpack by like the three first back, full backpacks together and find one letter that is common to the three. And that's what we need to do for each group. So let's do that. I'm going to borrow a bit of code from part one. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're going to do a map here. I think we're going to do a for loop. And here the array is lines. Here what I want to do plus equal three. Yeah, that's what we want to do. So uh, back packs is uh, we have uh, lines of up. So here I'm just like getting the three backpacks. So it's line of i, lines of i plus one, lines of i plus two. Let's comment that for now. Actually, let's just remove that fully. We have of three backpacks. And actually what we need to do here I don't see another way. We just need to find the common letter letters between those two backpacks and then do the same again with this one. So we could have written uh, some kind of a function to do that. You know what? We're just going to go and do that manually here. So what I do. Uh, part one set this is just a new set of and by the way why do we i use a set instead of using the array is because here this is a, a o of one operation so this is just happening right away whereas here i would have to go through the array and that would make things super slow so using a set is a nice little optimization. Uh, so here we just do the same. Let's do let intersection. So let's call that set. Intersection is this one. And we filter so that we have so that the set has this value. Let's see again. This is the first backpack. This is second backpack. And in the second backpack, we take only the elements that are in the first backpack. Yes, that is correct. Now we can say set is equal new set of intersection. So we, un we only check the thing the thing that are common in the two first backpack. And now the intersection is lines of i plus two. 
So here we can actually remove that because we are not using it. Oh, you know what? Let's let's use it. Backpack zero. That's gonna be a bit cleaner. Backpack of one and here backpack of two. And here we filter again and X must be in the set. Set has X. Now we dedupe, deduplicate, const dedupe, just in case. New set intersection. Yep. And here let's uh, log data. Yep, everything went bad. Oh, once again, here we need to. We have a string and we care about having an array of characters. That's the same mistake that I've done on part one. <laughs> Classical thing. R and Z. Let's see that. R and Z. That is correct. So now what we need to do, we need to do a sum. So here sum, we set it to zero. And here we do sum plus equal letter to priority of data up zero. And we need to actually log the sum. 70, that is exactly what we want here. So uh, this is day three. The full input, we just paste it here and do we already have the solution? I hope so. <laughs> we are good for day three. Thank you very much for following this series. Thank you very much for all the nice comments and everything. It's like it's uh, really uh, gives me a lot of energy to push through all these uh, challenges. But to be honest, I'm having fun already doing those challenges. So yeah. Don't hesitate to subscribe if you haven't. Drop a like as well. It's, uh, it helps make the video more visible to others. Um, and that's it for today. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.